everyone, and welcome back to In the Spotlight right here on New Greek Television, where we feature Greeks from around the world doing wonderful things to keep our culture and traditions alive. On today's episode, we are featuring Dr. Nikos Alexiou from Queens College. He's with the Department of Sociology, and he's doing wonderful work with the Hellenic American Project. He is compiling in uh, stories of Greek the Greek diaspora and their migration stories and these wonderful immigrant stories that he's trying to preserve um, through his project. And he's going to talk to us about that. And within that project, one of these stories is the Romanoid Jewish community of Yanina and their uh, migration to the United States. Um, he has created a virtual exhibit about memories, the Romanoid memories. It is a, a journey from Yanina, Greece to Manhattan, the, the pho photographs of uh, these wonderful uh, memories and this journey were taken by um, Vincent Giordano. May he rest in peace. He wanted these photographs to uh, be um, donated and, and dedicated to just preserving the stories and the memories. Nico, thank you for being on air with us today. We'd love to hear so much more about all the wonderful things you're doing. Thank you very much, uh, Diana. And uh, of course, uh, I would like uh, to say again uh, how hospitable is is uh, is uh, uh, the NGTV and and you personally uh, being very supportive of of the Hellenic American Project since the beginning and um, uh, the series of of uh, shows we had uh, 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 with you with the historic monopathy that uh, still people uh, um, you know telling me good things and, and i hope soon we can uh, we can resume congratulations for your work for for uh, what you do for the community and thank you for give, giving me this opportunity uh, as, as we said that the, the hellenic american project uh, is um, a project that tries to uh, document the history of uh, Greek Americans uh, uh, in New York and, and in the States uh, uh, in, in general. Uh, we collect uh, the archives of the ethnic communities, of the associations. We, uh, we do oral histories uh, to, to preserve uh, uh, in their own voices uh, the history of the community uh, and of course to see the transition from one generation to to, to the next, and also because we have a, a, space, uh, a physical space uh, at Queens College, is located at, at uh, on Main Street and on, on Queens Hall, uh, room 015. We have a gallery, uh, but unfortunately, uh, due to the pandemic, we could do everything, uh, uh, you know, um, through uh, Zoom and, and, and virtually. Uh, this this particular exhibit, it is the third of, of, of this kind. Um, I, I have organized. Uh, uh, two previous ones, one uh, with a female Greek American uh, 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 painters uh, back in May, uh, which was uh, Mother's Day and uh, uh, Women's Day. And I wanted to show uh, how Greek American women had a, a significant contribution to many aspects of the community. Uh, I, I always say that uh, if it wasn't for, for, for the Greek uh, women coming to America, we would never have a community. So, <laughs> I respect their presence very much and their contributions, of course, in all fields. Uh, a, a bad example is, is what you do, uh, have people in the arts, have people in, uh, in, uh, in the medical uh, uh, field, or in, uh, in, uh, another, another profession, of course, the hard, uh, working women uh, in all um, uh, trades uh, in, in we, work. We do, we do what we can. Professor, yeah. let's talk a little bit about the, the Jewish community in New York. Tell us a little bit about uh, when this uh, community was established. There's a beautiful synagogue downtown in New York as well. Talk to us a little bit about the migration and how we've yeah. come to this. So uh, in continuation, what I said, uh, uh, in order to come to this one, uh, the, the second was, uh, uh, to commemorate the 200 years anniversary since the beginning of the Greek Revolution, and I had a series of paintings uh, dedicated to the Greek light and landscape. And and, and this one, it is in, in, uh, uh, on, um, on on the on the Greek Jews. It is in this in this uh, uh, philosophy, because we live in very difficult times. Uh, I think an academic institution, uh, and me personally as a researcher uh, of the Greek American community, I want to bring something to to lift the spirit of the community and and keep uh, uh, um, uh, thinking and working and feel uh, the support uh, we should have uh, as as members of of the Greek American community. For a long time, I realized that uh, within the bibliography 
uh, about Greek Americans, uh, the sociological research, etc., or historical research. Uh, it was a gap. Many people thought that uh, the, Roma, uh, that uh, the Jews who are in New York, they 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 are remnants of of of, of um, um, the Holocaust, and they came to the state uh, after the Second World War, which is a mistake. Uh, those are uh, the Serfatic Jews of Saloniki or other Jews from other places. The Romaniote Jews, uh, they are uh, the Greek Jews. They, 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 they are in Greece since the time of Alexander the, the Great and during the, Rom the Roman period. Uh, so, and they came and they came to the States at the same historical time and period as uh, the Christians are uh, Greeks game. So, uh, what, what period? What period? Was, I'm sorry to cut you off, Professor. What period was that? Uh, course, course, the first, course. the first wave of first migration wave of, of, the, of the Greek hundreds. Yeah, of, of, of the nineteen yeah. hundreds, like all the Greeks came uh, at that time. So it it was an error uh, in the historical and sociological research uh, because they never uh, included the, the, the Greek Jews, uh, the Romaniote Jews, uh, within the Greek, the general Greek uh, uh, immigration to, to to the states. So uh, I studied them since the late 19, uh, 19, uh, 1990s uh, and um, uh, with uh, uh, interviewing uh, uh, um, members of the, of the of the Romaniote community, which is they have a beautiful synagogue um, in um, in um, in the village uh, in Broom Street in Allen, and it is now uh, announced by the New York City as, as a monument of, of of the city. So and and the synagogue, although they started earlier, uh, the finish uh, uh, was erected in 1927. So we have documents uh, documenting their presence uh, before uh, uh, 1945. So I did that and. Um, uh, at the Hellenic American Project space uh, at Queen's College, uh, when I present the history of, of Greek immigration to the States, uh, one part is dedicated to that. Also, I include uh, uh, as a researcher, uh, the Romaniote uh, within the general uh, Greek immigration. Uh, now, as far as concern, this particular uh, photography uh, exhibition. Right. Uh, this great Let artist, uh, 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 Vincent Giordano, who wasn't uh, um, uh, neither uh, Greek uh, uh, nor uh, uh, Jewish, but uh, his wife Hilda, uh, um, who was a, a Romaniote, uh, introduced him, and and of course his wife was, was she was she Greek Romaniote or no? Yes, yes, Hilda. she was a Greek. Okay, yes. Hilda. So yes. she brought him. He had no idea about this uh, community, yes. and this was uh, when. What era was this that they visited uh, Greece? This is around around uh, two thousand. Uh, and uh, a, a bit earlier, uh, uh, but but at that time, uh, 1999, uh, 2000, and he started uh, uh, interviewing people and 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 uh, as an artist, as a photographer, took uh, very important and beautiful uh, uh, pictures, uh, photographs of people and, and, and the place. And then he managed to get a Fulbright scholarship, uh, mm -hmm. and he went to Greece and he visited Ghana. Uh, um, and uh, he also continued his, uh, his artistic and creative work there. So we have images also from, from uh, the Romagnote in Yanina, because Yanina- uh, Very big population, very big. Yes. For, for those viewers that don't know, Yanina yes. in Northern Greece, in Ipiros, that's the territory, uh, had a very, very big uh, Jew Greek Jewish community. Yes, uh, uh, because a lot, a lot of them immigrated here, and a large number from Yanina in particular, they are lost uh, uh, during uh, the Holocaust. Yes, in other cities were, were easier to, uh, uh, for some reasons, uh, historical reasons, uh, survived. And the, there was some, and there's some really one, great one, stories. One difference is that uh, the, the, the Romaniote Jews they spoke and they still speak um, uh, Greek because they've been in Greece, you know, uh, for two, two, three thousand years. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, in 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 contrast with the Serfadic uh, um, uh, from Salonica that uh, speak uh, the, the the Landino this par uh, this particular dialect, so uh, the Romagnote was easier to to 
to survive the Holocaust. The Holocaust. Right. We have to just mention to the audience that over 80% of Greece's Jewish population was lost during the Holocaust. And it's a very, very sad thing. We do need to continue the story. We need to tell the story yes. uh, because these were atrocities and, 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 uh, and a and horrible yes. time that can never, never, never be repeated. Uh, uh, in, 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 uh, because we have a, um, a website as, as Hellenic American Project, uh, hapsos.org, uh, you, you see the, uh, um, uh, the exhibition and, uh, and also uh, you'll see that uh, we have, uh, we uploaded the exhibition of, on, on January 27th uh, because this is the International Remembrance Day uh, of the Jewish Holocaust. So it was a very symbolic uh, think why we did that. And now Thursday, uh, in two days, we have uh, the official opening where uh, we have many uh, distinguished uh, uh, speakers. Uh, of course, uh, the president of Queen's College is going to address it, uh, 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 Dr. Uh, Frank, uh, Frank Wu. Uh, we are very honored to have the Archbishop Elpidophoros also to address it. Uh, we have uh, the mayor of Yarena, uh, who is um, uh, a Romagnote. This is a significant um, uh, issue uh, that although the Romagnote now in Yanina are a small uh, minority, uh, the city uh, was able to realize the contribution of the Romagnote uh, in the region. So uh, the mayor of Yanina as a speaker uh, is also um, a Romagnote Jew. And of course, uh, the, uh, the president of uh, the Jewish community of my hometown, Volos, is going to address it. Uh, we have the, the, the ambassador to, to address it uh, in, in DC. Um, um, and uh, uh, we have a, uh, also uh, the Fulbright representative because Vincent was able to get to get the scholarship there. Uh, and uh, it, it's, it's a it's, it's a wonderful it's, initiative. It's a wonderful yes, initiative. Yes. And let me ask you, uh, Professor, uh, real quick, tell us a little bit about how can one get uh, see this virtual exhibit? How, how can our audience be able to view these wonderful pictures? Yeah, uh, well, uh, if, if they're going to wait, they can come and see it at the Queen's College. But until then, but <laughs> until they come and see it uh, physically, uh, there is a, there is a, a, a website. Uh, um, um, they can do that through uh, uh, the, the, the website of the Hellenic American Project, uh, www.hapsos.org, uh, and uh, in the option uh, gallery. Uh, there is an option gallery there where they can see. And uh, in order to attend and participate, because it's going to be a reception this, this Thursday, uh, they can register also for the reception. And, you know, uh, talk with the organizers and um, um, the distinguished guests, etc. Also, I want to mention that uh, it is, um, for the first time, uh, it is a collaboration of three major units at, at, at Queen's College because I, I, want, I, I, I want to approach this event not just as a Greek event. Uh, uh, so uh, through the Hellenic American Project, uh, uh, I collaborated with the, the Queen's College li Library and, and uh, the special collections because some of the, of the material is very sensitive, uh, microfilms, etc. Where I put it there, part of the um, of the exhibition of the archive uh, that I have as hub, I, I I move it to to the special collection so researchers can can go there and and also to 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 help and study the archives. And I give scholarships, about $1,000 for people who do uh, work on the archives and they publish something. So keep that in mind. We keep saying that for a long time. Um, also, uh, the Jewish Center of Queen's College uh, is, is part of it. So, uh, and we'll have in the future a series of lectures. We're going to incorporate uh, uh, the history of the Romagnote within the Jewish studies because it's a very unknown uh, group. Even within the, the Jewish community, it is not well documented and represented and, and known. So we, we, we do all those things as a community, and uh, this is the spirit. So uh, we have uh, uh, Miss uh, um, Anne Tomino, who is a uh, 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 the head of the of the special collections. We have uh, Aaron uh, Franklin, who is the director of, of the Jewish study, and of, uh, we have uh, um, uh, 
the president and director of the Jewish Museum, uh, Dr. Samuel uh, Krugman uh, from Syracuse, a professor who studies the architecture of, of uh, Jewish monuments and synagogues. And of course, all this uh, is uh, to, the, to a large part um, to coordinate all this, uh, 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 our friend uh, 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 René Papas, who was able to coordinate. Uh, Renee uh, Pappas is, is a pillar. Uh, she supports so many wonderful Hellenic projects that this is one that's very close to her heart. We love her dearly, we respect her, and we support uh, all of the efforts that you are both doing. Some information we'd like to share with our audience is that over 80% of the Jewish community and the population uh, perished in the Holocaust. Uh, this is uh, uh, historic for the Romanoid uh, communities. Of the uh, 1,960 Jews who were deported to Auschwitz from Janina, Greece, 110 survived. The Romanoid language, a Greek dialect that combines words and phrases from Hebrew and Turkish, is endangered without preservation uh, efforts to maintain or revive it. And as of 2019, only a small number of Romanoid Jews remain in Janina, Greece, that speak the language. Dr. Lexio, I can't thank you enough. Uh, congratulations. I hope our audience becomes more aware of all the wonderful initiatives you're doing at Queens College and beyond. This project has to continue. We'd love to support you in any way, and you know you are always supported on New Greek Television and by myself. Um, we are uh, very uh, excited to see the exhibit, and we uh, hope these times will, will pass and we'll be able to come to Queens College. If not, we'll be following your work on your website. Uh, and we thank you again for all you do for the history of all Greeks in Greece, all, because we need to also remind our audience that what makes you a Greek? Why don't we remind our audience what makes you a Greek? A Helene. Yes, what to make it uh, well? We have our universal values, who, uh, which is uh, throughout throughout uh, uh, the centuries remain exactly the same. You know, uh, as Greeks, we value the concept of, of liberty, especially now with the 200 year anniversary from the beginning of the revolution. We realize uh, that the Greek revolution. Uh, wasn't just a, 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 Greek, a Greek case. It, it went beyond the, the, the borders of Greece. It, it influenced so many people and cultures, especially the American culture, because you have the American Philhellenes uh, that, that play a significant role uh, to keep uh, the, uh, the, the, the Greek cause uh, with, uh, through their writings, uh, through the, the press, uh, collecting money, food, uh, clothes, uh, to, to, to the speaking, uh, to, and make the, 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 the English speaking world aware uh, constantly all uh, throughout the years of the, of, of the revolution, uh, really high in the agenda. So we, we, we are people who value, who value uh, uh, liberty, democracy, and, yes. and collaboration. Yes, this, this is what you do, what I do as an academic, <laughs> uh, right, to, 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 to bring the community together and, and, and try to support the community, especially uh, in these uh, uh, difficult times, not, not only through the good times, which is easy probably, uh, but uh, through difficult times. And I think this is the message, uh, what makes us Greeks. Yeah. This is the message, and I'm going to hold you to another show. We need to talk about the uh, uh, Greek Revolution from the Ottoman Empire. We need to talk about the independence of Greece from the Ottoman Empire. So I'm going to hold you to a show, Dr. Uh, Alexiou. Uh, I, I hope that you can do a nice series for our viewers. Uh, I thank you again. We all thank you on behalf of the Greek community and New Greek Television. Keep up the wonderful work, and we'll keep checking in with you for, for anything new that you're doing. Thank you very much. And, and as I keep saying, uh, we can only go through this uh, uh, through a collaboration and, 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 and in the spirit of the community. You, Thank you. you. Can never, we can never do it alone. And this is we have to work together, everyone. The Greeks have to unite just like they did in antiquity in order to, to, to become bigger and stronger. Exactly. Thank you very much and all the best. Thank you, Dr.